Welcome to Henrico Theater. I am Amy Perdue with Recreation and Parks, and we are pleased to present Death Under the Big Top. It's Friday night, and the crowd eagerly awaits the start of Billabong Bob's Big Top Circus. The smell of popcorn and peanuts permeates the air. Everyone is excited for the circus to begin. Suddenly, a shout is heard, and a clown comes stumbling in, tripping over his oversized clown shoes. He announces that Billabong Bob has been found dead, crushed under a hundred pound round hay bale in the elephant tent. The law has been called and it has been declared, dun dun dun, a murder. Here are the suspects. Aria Sky, aerialist and former wife of Billabong Bob. She flies through the air with the greatest of ease or she used to until a tragic accident caused her to fall mid-performance. Confined to a wheelchair, she blamed Bob for her fall. He claims it was a tragic accident. She claims it was intentional. Did Aria decide that revenge is sweeter than the cotton candy at the concession stand? Maddie Mayer. The mayor should have been thrilled when the circus rolled into small town. The extra tourist traffic is sure to boost the local economy and make her constituents happy. After Maddie met with Billabong Bob, she wanted to cancel the circus. Perhaps it's only Bob's contract she canceled. Ellie Trainer. Ellie's in charge of the animals and is usually a gentle soul. She is passionate about saving the world and doing the right thing. She thinks Billabong Bob isn't on the up and up and has secrets that need to be revealed. Now that he's dead, can she shed new light on Billabong Bob? Thomas Trainer, Ellie's husband and the MC of the show. He's become quite the orator. Always one to help out his wife or others in need, he believes everyone deserves a second chance. He knows Billabong Bob harbored secrets about Thomas's past. Perhaps Thomas discovered that Billabong Bob has the right to remain silent, permanently. Jojo the Clown. Jojo is a clown who recently joined the circus, but when he's around Billabong Bob, he rarely cracks a smile. His balloon animals have a little less air and he acts deflated. Did Jojo decide to have the last laugh about Billabong Bob? Okay, everyone, happy sleuthing. Now let's hear from our five suspects and read some clues that will hopefully help you solve the mystery. I used to fly among the stars, but now I'm grounded like an injured bird. Yes, I used to be married to Billabong Bob, but he tossed me aside like an old pair of clown shoes. I think it was because of guilt. Guilt over causing my fall from the big top Guilt over lying about his past and lying about his family. I could have left the circus after my accident, but I mistakenly believe that I was owed a part of Big Billabong Bob's Big Top Circus. My marriage certificate is worth less than the paper it was printed on. I decided to stick around and convince Bob to give me some money to compensate me for my accident. If nothing else, I'm staying near the circus until the insurance settlement for my injury pays out. I'll admit, I wanted to confront Bob about his treatment of me. I'll never get the chance. A misplaced bag of feed kept me from the elephant area. I decided to talk to him after the show. Now I'll never get the chance. So long, Billabong Bob. I wish I could say that I'll miss you, but honestly, I said goodbye to you in my heart a long time ago. Vote for me, Maddie Mayer, for state senator. If you're a Virginia resident, if not, well, you never know where I'll go next in my political career. Remember the name, Maddie Mayer. You'll see headlines soon announcing me as your next state senator. I knew the man Billabong Bob when I was a kid. We ran around together, had a few laughs, but that was a lifetime ago. 
and I was an entirely different person. As a matter of fact, that's part of my campaign story. I was a high school dropout with no future, but I worked hard and transformed myself into the woman you see before you today. No one can take that away from me, no one. I came to talk to Bill Obama Bob about the request for a waiver of his fee to use the grounds. We're a small town, and I like to have a personal touch with all town business. I arrived here around 5.15 and searched for Bob. Everyone said he was at the elephant tent. I made my way there, and a nice woman, Aria Sky, said he wasn't inside. I'm a fact checker. It's part of my personality. So I glanced inside. I didn't see him. I did see a large bale of hay. I'm just crushed that the poor man was underneath of it. What a horrible way to die. I'll be sure to send my his family, my condolences. Remember Maddie Mayer for state senator. I'm not very good talking with people. I'm better with my elephants than I am with my fellow man. My animals, they're like my family. They were my everything, just like the love of my life, Thomas. He's a good man, despite his checkered past. I've devoted my life to helping free animals used in horrible ways by greedy people. I've had some folks that you might want to meet, in fact, I was meeting with one of them when Billabong Bob met his demise. I had finished unloading all the animal feed with Jojo the Clown and to hurry so I could meet my friend to give some important news related to the animals. I'm not sure, but I know I was scheduled to meet a friend around 530. So it must have been around that time. Anyway, like I said, I wasn't even here on the grounds. I was on my way back to the main circus tent when I heard Jojo say Bob had been killed. Sorry, I'm just a little uncomfortable talking to you. Like I said, I like animals better than people. I'm a simple man with simple needs. I'll admit, I have a checkered past, but my wife and true love Ellie helped straighten me out. She also helped me find my path in life. I wasn't always a ringmaster, but now I get to be the center of attention. And you know what? Well, I'm no longer the nervous, jittery guy I was when I was young. People change. I'm proof of that. I helped my wife Ellie train the elephants sometimes. Elspeth, the elephant, can gently place her hoof on, on a ball and, I, and just lift with the lift of my hand. It was such a wonderful feeling to be with animals every day. Life is good. I had gone to town to buy my sweetie Ellie something to rid herself of the rats and mice that had been disturbing her elephants. I had gotten back and went to the tent to set the traps. I saw Billabong Bob with the elephants, so I turned around and went to find Ellie. I didn't see her anywhere nearby, so I assumed she was in our RV. I passed the woman who introduced herself as Maddie, Maddie Mayer. I knew her when she was Madeline Macaroon. She acted like she didn't even know me. That's fine, Maddie. I've turned over a new leaf, too. Anyway, 
I didn't f- I find Ellie on the grounds, and I almost made it to the RV when I heard JoJo shout. I went back toward the elephant tent. That's when I found out my old friend Bob was dead. I guess the merry band of thieves is no more. Like a very bad soap opera, I'm here to reveal my true identity. You see, I am honest because I believe that honesty is the best policy. Yes, I'm Bill Bong Bob's true long lost twin brother, Joe. I didn't like him. It's more than just sibling rivalry. We used to be thicker than thieves, literally. But that'll change the night when my brother, my flesh and blood, left me to pay for his crimes. I haven't seen him for over 20 years. Why, you ask? Well, I was a guest of the federal penitentiary. That's true. I was in the big house. I spent it there because of my brother let me do time for his crimes. Well, I am not going to do time for this crime. So as I, I was at my station, the balloon station, getting ready for the show. Saw that Ellie needed some help loading the animal feed into the tent. So I helped her out for, took about maybe half an hour. And I went back to my tent, or to my station. Then I saw a woman walk out of the elephant tent she said her name was Maddie Mayer, probably around 5.15. Well, that was it. I was going to co- confront my brother about his crime. That was about 10 minutes I got there. Heard a strange noise. Couldn't quite tell where it came from. Anyway, I went into the tent, and there I saw the mirror image of myself, dead. everyone now it's time for some questions and for the voting if you have a question you'd like to ask of one of our suspects feel free to ask them now on the chat icon if you already think you know who killed Billabogbong, you can go ahead at any time during the next few minutes and answer the poll in the chat icon as well after all the questions have been answered and all the votes are in we will then be able to reveal to you who done it so take it away question time Okay, a question for Ellie Trainer. Who was the man you were talking to in the parking lot? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I cannot recall his name at this time. Aria, a question for you. One of the clues said that Gwen, not seven, not Sven, said she saw you walking into the animal tent. Do you know Gwen, not Sven? I do not know Gwen. I saw a lady walking around, but I don't know who it was. To Maddie Mayer, are the two twin brothers that you hung around with Jojo the Clown and Billy Bong Bob. 
I suppose it's out now. Um, yes. A question for Jojo the Clown. Did you spend a lot of time with your brother at the circus? Well, again, he left me to die. I ended up in jail for 20 years. So I didn't want to get too close to him or he'd recognize me before I was ready to confront him. Did B Billabong Bob know that you were his brother? Well, he didn't recognize me. Now, we'd only been together for just a day or two. I joined the circus just a few days ago. So I tried to keep my distance from him. And that's where, that's why I wear the makeup. So he probably wouldn't recognize me from a distance. All right, a question for Thomas Trainer. Where did you buy the rat poison? I went down to town and, and bought that. Question for Maddie Mayer. You left your office early and went to the circus. Did you go anywhere before or after that? Why no? I went directly there. A question for Aria Sky. Did you ever help with the elephant care? I was good friends with Ellie. She was one of my best friends on the circuit, but I did not help with the elephant care. I was all about being an aerialist, and sometimes Ellie would get mad at me because I like makeup that's not always tested on animals, and she encouraged me to buy better products. All right, we have another question. How did Thomas and Maddie know each other? Thomas, do you want to answer that? We actually went to school together. But we really didn't hang out until after I graduated. And then we were in a gang together, the Merry Band of Thieves. Jojo the Clown, are you actually Billy Bong Bob? No, I'm not. Uh, Billy Bong Bob was my twin brother. Why was Aria walking? Were you walking from someplace to someplace? I mean, it says you were in a wheelchair. So I looked around and I don't think anybody saw me, but I have started walking a little bit and I wanted to see what was in the tent. So I just went in there and went back to my wheelchair. I wanted the insurance settlement, so I didn't want anybody to know. All the questions we have coming from those participants. Okay, everyone. The polls will close after the motives are read aloud. So think about who you think did it and go ahead and cast your vote in the chat icon. To solve this crime, three things must be present. Means, motive, and opportunity. Let's look at motive first. Arya Sky learned that Billabong Bob lied about his name and their marriage was a sham. She didn't have a divorce settlement since their marriage hadn't been real. She also discovered that Bob had been a member of a gang of thieves that had robbed banks and stores. He had a twin brother who he had left to take the rap for the crime. To make matters worse, she suspected that Bob had caused her accident. Maddie Mayer was a member of that same gang of thieves and she had everything to lose if Bob let the proverbial cat out of the bag. Her run for state senator would be over before it started. She needed her past to stay the past. No one could know that Maddie Mayer used to be the notorious girl thief, Madeline Macaroon. Ellie Trainer didn't know Bob when he was younger, but her husband Thomas did. He was a member of the Merry Band of Thieves too. In fact, he was known as Tommy the Tremor, and it was his fault the C4 had gone off at the bank. Billabong Bob had claimed that the loot from the bank robbery had gone missing, but Ellie discovered it was a lie. That money would go a long way helping her beloved animals and radical rescue group Norwal. Plus, with Billabong Bob gone, no one would expose her honey, Thomas Trainer, as a member of the Merry Band of Thieves. Both Ellie and Thomas needed Thomas's past to stay forgotten. Which leaves us with our final suspect, Jojo the Clown. Or should we call him Joseph Bills, Billabong Bob's twin brother? Billabog Bob had left his twin in the bank, injured from the bomb blast, and took the loot and ran. 
He cheated the merry band of thieves out of cash, and he cheated JoJo out of 20 years of his life. He had done hard time at the federal penitentiary. So we have five suspects with five motives. Now let's go to means. The but butler usually does the crime, but this time the elephant did. No, you can't arrest the elephant. She was just the tool used by the real murderer. Elspeth the elephant had been trained to put her hoof on a red ball at the lift of a hand. When Billabong Bob raised the glass to his lips, the balloon filled with strychnine rat poison was already in place. Everyone who worked at the circus knew that Bob had a glass of whiskey before the show, and some of them knew the cash was hidden in the elephant props. When Bob lifted the glass to his lips, Elspeth followed her training and stepped on what she thought was her ball, but it was actually a large red balloon taken from Jojo the Clown's stash of balloons. The balloon popped, sending enough rat poison into the air to be inhaled by Billabong Bob. A fast poison, he was dead before he knew what hit him. The sound of the balloon popping frightened Elspeth, which caused her to knock over the bale of hay, covering his body. Now we need to look at opportunity. Jojo the Clown was busy blowing up balloons. Several people can vouch for his presence except for the person who actually committed the crime. Ellie was spotted meeting her contact with Narwhal at the time of the crime. Aria walked into the tent. Yes, she can walk short distances, but her legs are still too weak to go far. So she didn't enter the tent, so she could not have committed the crime. Maddie, too, entered the tent, but only glanced inside. No, one person was unaccounted for during this time, and it wasn't spotted until after the deed was done by his old friend, Maddie Macaroon. Thomas Trainer had spotted Billabong Bob getting cash out of the elephant props. He was angry and took his chance by grabbing one of JoJo's balloons and filling it with the rat poison he had purchased earlier in the day. The balloon was easy to place inside the tent right before Billabong Bob went in for his drink. He knew the trick Elspeth performed because he helped his wife train her. It was the perfect crime, except that it left a small remnant of red balloon inside. You did it, Thomas Trainer, and you are under arrest. Thank you all for joining us tonight for Death Under the Big Top. We hope you had a good time. Please stay safe and have a nice evening. Thanks so much. Bye.